now we could finally take care of that matter of the diplomat and find out if I made the right decision to delay. Uh, looks like she has quite a number of people that wish to talk to her. Hello there. Not again. Please. I understand what the Sylvanar desires, but I already told you. We cannot provide him with our copy of the treaty. Well, that would be rather difficult any if you wish to. He's dead. Dead? But he was just here. What happened? The Green Lady suspects he was murdered. How awful. Who would harm such a peaceful creature? I was hoping you'd know that. My guards saw nothing. We doubled the watch to ensure safety. I cannot abide the Sylvanar's murder in my town. I'll shut down the port if I have to. None sets sail until his killer is brought to justice. Anything I could do to help? Of course. I hereby declare you a deputy of the Mistral Guard. No door shall be barred to you. Very well. Where should I begin? On my desk, you will find the most recent reports from the Mistral Guard. You are welcome to review them for any inconsistencies that could lead to the killer's capture. Very well. The Sylvan are murdered? These treacherous Khajiit have plotted with the Mawamur to slay our How noble dare envoy. You. The Sylvanar was our guest. You go too far, Vice Reeve. Outrageous! More Dominion treachery! I will conduct my own investigation. No sea rat will show me up. I'll get to the bottom of this myself. Seeing uh, he's a potential suspect. Report number one. Incident one. The apothecary was acting suspicious. Wouldn't it look in me in the eye? Probably sold ointment for the pox to my cousin and again. Did not pursue. Alright. Incident 2. Gerania heard strange noises in the warehouse next to the armorer shop. Investigated but found no sign of anything missing. Did not pursue. Incident 3. The Malmar captain threw a beggar off the serpent's kiss. Said she caught him poking around below decks. Her ship, her rules. Did not pursue. So everything is did not pursue, but by themselves, nothing really sounds particularly suspicious. Apothecary. The Geraria heard strange noises. And the Marmor Captain, yes. But since the Marmor are very high suspects in this, there could be other reasons. It's anything else? And then the others I've already read, the rats and the crops. See, nothing new there. Increased bandit activity, we read about that, yeah. Nothing new there. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So let us see what we can do. So let's first check Let's talk to the apothecary uh, hmm. The creature's still following me Hope it's not going to be like Gollum Actually there is... Ah, oh, this is the warehouse Uh, 
anything in here? Oh, it might be a good place to hide and see what happens. After some time... As good a place as any. If that clerk has any sense, he'll find it. What's that all about? Ooh, what's this? Unwelcome visitors. We assume the first anchor chain is cut. Apply pressure to Mother Tiger to denounce the unwelcome visitors. We observe unwelcome visitors recovering from the storm. Cut the second anchor chain immediately. Watchful Serpent remains offshore. At the signal, we shall prepare the Tempest. We assume the first anchor chain is cut. Now is... Apply pressure to Mother Tiger to denounce the unwelcome visitors. We observe unwelcome visitors recovering from the storm. Cut the second anchor chain immediately. I'm trying to think whether they are talking literally, as in the anchor chains that come from oblivion, or are they being... Or is that metaphorically? We are going to have to find out. There's nothing there. Let's check the next place. Because it uh, another distraction. All right. Let's see the apothecary. I think they're that this way. Mixing different reagents, trying different things. Mind you, I've singed my fur a time or two with some unexpected results. But alchemy is for the adventurous, I always say. All right. Maybe that's not what they meant by the apothecary. Oh. Apothecary. Mandrake Roots 2, paid in full. Deedra Heart 1, new customer, paid in full. Deedra Blood 10 Drams, new customer, ordered but paid in full, name refused. Sulfur 5 Cakes, new customer, ordered but paid in full, name refused. Darrow, or no order, customer suspicious, report to guards. Saltress pollen, 15 grains, paid in full. Fire salts, 8 grains, ordered for Gerania, pay on delivery. Deidre blood, 10 drams, new customer, ordered, but paid in full, name re... Deidre blood. That's three orders of Deidre blood. Now the question is... What does Deidre blood do? Not too sure I have... ...used that before. And unfortunately I don't think they have any of it on hand, so I cannot check. It sounds like the name 
Could be a poison of some sort. So now... Hello. This ship... Visions. Hello, Captain. Get off my ship before I throw you off. I need to get into your hold. And I need a new rigging and a serving wench. Too bad for us both. Now get off my deck before I throw you off. Mm. Uh, will this change your mind any? Well, that's a serving wench. Three minutes. If my sailors see your hands where they shouldn't be, I'll keelhaul you myself. All right. I'll have to be careful about this. I'm sure she is not going to be happy if I do anything too strange. So I'll just walk around here quietly. Crate of Sea Piper paraphernalia. This small crate contains Sea Piper uniforms and flags, providing a direct connection between the Marimar Embassy and the Sea Vipers. Now to get out of here without getting keel hauled. Whatever that is, but it doesn't sound like a good thing. I just had to assume that is some sort of punishment that no one likes. I know what a what hauling is. I don't know nothing about ships. Know what a keel is. Maybe I should ask someone. I'm not going to ask her, of course. Razumdar. Killing the Sylvanar was foolish. The Green Lady and the Sylvanar shared a life bond. She has little time to avenge him before she too will die, and the Green Lady is a most dangerous creature. But then, you have that spring in your stride again. What have you learned? Nothing that leads to the killer, but I did notice this. The Maumer planned something, but what? Wait. The apothecary sold Daedra blood in these specific amounts? That would explain the strange liquid upon the... Oh no. Bright moons, no. Oh, uh, what's wrong? This is a sample of the vile cloud from around the Sylvanar's body. Bring it to the Green Lady. Tell her it killed her beloved. As for the rest, Harani will see what you found. We must move like Kenarthi herself is at our backs. Alright, this sample the vile cloud from around the Sylvanar's body. Bring it to the... Alright. Then let us talk to the green lady and see what she says. Oh, there she is. Killer will share the pain my beloved's death has wrought. Hand down the throat, a kiss for my wrist. Hand on the lungs, a kiss for my arms. Grasp, tear, yank, and one last kiss for the killer's own heart. Now, 
What have you found? Well, this is a sample of the poison that killed him. No poison in all of Tamriel could harm my beloved. But this scent was on his body. Why is it out here as well? I can see it leading away into the heart of this wretched city. Uh, I didn't notice a scent. You're blind to it. Easily remedied. Follow if you can. Oh. Oh, you know, hobbits have short legs. <laughs> Very short legs. <laughs> Than this. Oh, I lost her. Oh. Oh, goodness gracious. I got. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh. Follow, follow, follow. Oh, up here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on here? What's this all about? Covered my tracks. Couldn't have found me. Tell me, who killed the Sylvanar? I followed his orders. Daedric poison for the wood elf and his mate. I followed his orders. Whose orders? Ulandil. He said they could stop the tempest. Had to be removed. I've heard enough. His orders. I had to follow his orders. There, there. You did what you had to. As did I. I presume next is Ulandil. Oh, let's see if I can get to him before the Green Lady does. She may be interested as I am in finding Come out there. why and all that. Joining the Dominion isn't about what is taken from you, but what we gain from each other. Ah, the errant deputy. I was just informing headwoman Harani of her apothecary's connections to the High Elves of Somerset Isle. Once the torture begins, we'll learn why the Dominion killed their own diplomat. And your assassin said that you're the one who ordered the death. My what? You mean the apothecary? I assure you, he was never in my employ. Your assassin brought Deidric blood to the apothecary and used it to kill the Sylvanar. Oh, well done. It doesn't matter now. The green lummox and her idiot husband lie dead. There's nothing you can do to stop us. And you're saying the green lady is dead? You're lying. She must be dead, or else she'd have come for me. She's coming for me, isn't she? I... I'm a duly appointed ambassador of the Maoma people. The grounds of the embassy are sacrosanct, according to our treaty. And you think she cares? The tempest is coming. You cannot stop it. Sea rat coward. I'll have your head for this. I have his scent. And soon, his heart. Stop! All of you! This madness ends now. Ah. Joining the Dominion isn't about what is taken from you. This is madness. There has been enough death in this city. Hmm. 
Yes, but it's quite true, clear that the mammer betrayed Kenarthi's roost. This does not excuse a mindless slaughter. We are better than our enemies. You must apprehend him. Don't let the Green Lady cut him down like an animal. We must learn what the Maomer plan for Kanarthi's roost. Very well, I'll go after him. I trust you'll do what's best for my people. Now I must apologize to Viceriv Peladil. Whatever the Dominion needs, we will provide. Right. The Dominion welcomes all who wish to join. Well, now let's find Lindil. In the embassy, of course. Now, where would he be? In his room? Oh. Quite a battle. Move, unless you don't mind the spatter. What are you going to do to him? I'll keep him alive for a time. He won't starve. His limbs have so much flesh to sustain him. Go tell Harani the Marama is dead. Leave me to my work. Let me get his opinion before I do that. Mercy. Please. Mercy. Save me from this madwoman. Do you surrender? I do. By all the gods, I do. <sighs> I'll see if I can convince her. But, beware, I might not be able to. Move, unless you don't mind the spatter. I'll keep him alive for a time. He won't starve. His limbs have so much flesh to sustain him. I Go tell Harani the Marama is dead. Leave me to my work. Listen, don't we need justice here rather than pure revenge? Exactly. And I'll have the blood that's due. What does this creature's life matter to you anyway? Is it what the Sylvanar would want? You dare speak for my Sylvanar? I'll beat you with your own flayed skin. I'll smash your teeth to powder and choke you with the dust. You're... Oh, you're right. Curse your bones, you're right. Take them away before I lose myself. Uh, yes, ma'am. Keep her away from me! I want to keep a good eye on you. If you try to run, I'm sure she'll know it. And what she does after that, you're not going to like. We've taken Ulandil into custody thanks to your quick action. No treaty will keep him from proper justice. The Green Lady, of course, wanted revenge. I understand. I am certain she'll find another way to mourn her husband. I asked Ulandil what he meant about the Tempest. After what the Green Lady did to him, it is difficult for him to focus. But what he did say isn't good at all. Oh? Now, I know I faced a Tempest earlier. What did he say about this new one? The Maomer have some ships waiting offshore. Ulandil's people signaled them before the Green Lady arrived. Some sort of invasion force. With the Dominion's help, perhaps we can fortify the town. That alone may save many lives. Have you officially joined the Dominion? I signed a new treaty moments ago. Viceriv Peladil assured me the Dominion will protect our little island. It's a new beginning for Kanarthi's roost. We will prosper or fall together. Hey, slow pause. Oh, yes? You, yes, you. Commander Karanek needs you immediately. And what do you mean? The Malmer attacked Katzai Key from the sea. 
Commander Karenith holds the line at the docks. She needs help stopping the Maumer before they push into Mistral. Zaire will find more to help. Be swift, slow pause. I'll find Commander Ka Karenith. Well, yes, I presume it's predictable that they would attack. That would be the reaction, seeing how the treaty was signed to avoid an invasion. Greetings. So let's see what they're going. I presume it's this way. Slow Paul. Hmm. Just because I've got short legs. Or is it Lost Paul? Quality wears. Oh. Oh. Well, that's certainly outdated. What do you want? Did you hear? That Marmor ambassador was plotting against us all along. I know, surprise, surprise. surprise. No good can come of them. Commander Karenith? You there. The Marmor attacked Cat's Eye Key with their Sea Viper forces. We need every able body for the rescue effort. And Zari said you were preparing a counterattack? Huh. A counterattack? I'd settle for an organized defense. Our forces are scattered too thin. If we can't hold the gates, Mistral will fall to the Marma. And what can I do? I'll coordinate Dominion forces from here, but I can't lock down this gate until the survivors clear out of the market. Send them my way. We need everyone able to defend Mistral on this side of the wall. Uh, very well. Direct them to safety. If they're willing. Snakes, giant snakes. Those Malma pirates came from the water. They're all over Cat's Eye Key. And what happened here? Sea vipers happened. One must have struck me on the head. When I woke, a sea viper was carving strange runes on my bodyguard's skin. I hit that awful pirate with a broken spar and we ran. And are your wounds serious? No, we can still move. We'll head to Mistral if it's safe there. By the eight, it's inspiring to see Dominion soldiers. Maybe Sergeant Firion can pull off her counterattack. And what counterattack? The Marine by the gate to Cat's Eye Key plans to strike back at the Sea Vipers. I'm sure she can tell you the details. We'll get moving. Gods grant you strength. Goodbye. All right, let's talk to the next one. We can't let those Marama pirates reach Mistral. They'll butcher our families. And what happened here? I saw great serpents emerge from the waters. Those sea viper cowards made them snap at everyone in striking distance. And were you wounded? No. When I saw my neighbors fall, I ran. What kind of Kashit am I? You were with Dominion, yes? Your Sergeant Firion plans to strike back. Give those pirate cowards a taunting. Uh, you should get to safety. Head for Mistral. I'll do no such thing. If any of those sea vipers shows a face on this side of the gate, I'll throw it off myself. All right, very well. We'll see. Sergeant, how are things going? What are you doing here? It doesn't matter. If you're in the mood to cave in some sea viper skulls, I don't really care. When the survivor said you're planning a counterattack? You feel that cold air rushing off the sea? Just like it was before the hurricane. We can't wait to cut off the snake's head. We are the Dominion counterattack. Awesome. And anything I could do to help? I sent my squad to scout Cat's eye key. If they haven't learned with the Sea Viper's plan, we can poke around until we figure out what needs chopping. Don't worry. Your wizard friend can seal the gate behind us. Uh, shouldn't you hold the gate? I'll hold the gate, if you think you'll have need for a wizard. Or you could bring a Dominion Marine. Up to you. Let's 
let's see. I'll hold the gate, but there are too many vipers for you to get in without support. Take your friend if you think you'll have need of a wizard. Or I could bring the Dominion Marines. Hmm. Ah, decisions, decisions. See, I'll hold the gate. Ah! See, take your friend if you think. Uh, I won't need the wizard. Or you could bring the Dominion Marine. Then let's fillet these fish elf bastards. All right. Let us go. get lost. Hey, squad got separated. Nistel and I found Onglorn. They hurt him bad. What happened to sea him? Sea vipers carved runes in his chest. I grabbed him. Nistel held them off. Who's Nistel? Hunting sea vipers. If you see her, tell her Onglorn will be all right. And did you learn what the sea vipers plan in Mistral? You've done your part. Get back to Mistral when you can. Alright, search. Alright, search the warehouse and search the mine. Looks like we've got a few extras also helping things here. next this way <laughs> she's dead this marine's body is covered with wounds sword slashes broken bones and even a few fang the snakes. However, you see no runes carved upon her body. Weapons are broken. Heavy scoring Mars or armor. One limp hand holds a bloody bandage. The other grips a bloody piece of paper. Oh. Nistel. Alright. Have that piece of paper anywhere? Oh. Eh, too heavy. We should check the houses or secluded areas with good visibility of the key. All right. Now, uh, let's go for the next point. Vipers all over the place. Oops. 
Sorry about that. Now, let's go this way. What's in the mine? A ringing head is bad. But when it remains somewhat head-shaped, <laughs> that is good, yes? Yeah? What happened to you? I was in the caves, working, when I heard a strange howling. Then warriors came out of nowhere and struck without mercy. And who attacked? Sea vipers, Maorama pirates. We paid protection through the month and let them put those strange totems in our cave. They've never been in the skooma trade. Uh, I, I meant moon sugar. It hit my head, you see. Uh huh. What did they want? Our deaths, I suppose. After they killed enough of us, they left the rest of us alone. They knew we wouldn't fight back. They only paid attention to those totems. Well, until they collapsed the cave entrance. And why did they collapse the cave? Some high elf wizard tried to get in, so they collapsed it. I dove outside. Lucky me. The wizard tried to tell me something, but I couldn't hear him at all. He stuffed this paper in my hands and walked off. Here, maybe you can make sense of it. Uh, won't you get to safety? Uh, what's that? My ears were ringing. Would you mind repeating the obvious? <laughs> wait, wait, don't think me ungrateful. The wizard was looking for another way into the caves. I heard rumors of a secret door by the cliffs, but I never saw it myself. Uh, thank you. All right. Secret tunnels. Right, we'll see what we can do here. Well, at least there... We have fewer sea vipers around. That's good news. Where'd she go? Trixie! Trixie! Ooh. And that's Trixie also. seem to harness a combination of wind and spirit. I wonder if I can... Excuse me, do you mind? Um, we're here to stop the sea vipers. Indeed. I suppose that's optimal. These sea viper rituals are barbaric, but quite effective. The hurricane they summoned to dash our fleet against Kanapi's roost? That's nothing compared to their current efforts. Oh, what? What's worse than a hurricane? You clearly haven't studied the fundamentals of blood sacrifice. You see, these serpent-shaped statues, they're storm totems. They collect spirit energies from rune-marked subjects and channel it, like water through a funnel. And how can we block it? Exactly the right question. It seems the sea vipers use a specialized lodestone to block the channel. Approach an active storm totem, hold forth the lodestone, and harmlessly siphon the energy away. You should see for yourself. Well, that sounds like something I did before at a smaller tempest, and... but are you sure it's harmless? Completely. Go ahead, don't be shy. Uh, it's not as though the storm totem's energies will cascade throughout your body until you're nothing but a lifeless smoking husk. <laughs> but do avoid standing in the puddles, would you? Right. Notice that I'm doing it. All right, there you go. Phenomenal. I knew proximity was the key. And look at you, not even a hint of electrocution. You have the principle. Now to apply it to the other storm totems before... Well, best not to worry about that. Oh, worry about what? Uh, no, I really shouldn't worry you. <sighs> Why do they need these storm totems? I can't say for certain. 
It's one of two things, neither of which is good for anyone on this island. You don't stoop to blood sacrifice unless you need a lot of energy very quickly. And, well, to release it just as quickly. And what does that mean? Listen, you handle the storm totems. I'll determine how to best counteract the Sea Viper blood ritual without destroying Mistral. Does that seem equitable? The only certainty is the lack of time. You should hurry. Got it. Alright, so now... Let's go and find the other ones. Oh, here's one right now. Alright, that's one down. Another one that way. help if I don't get lost. Yeah, that's the one I tried first. Trying to restart it. Oh, the guy teleports! It's what we need. Those are pretty quick. Oh, here's another one. Right, that's two down. Yeah, that wasn't the best place to walk. Surprise! I hope you like surprises. Hobbit present. I'll do the sensible thing and bypass it. Hello! things.
carry. Get this. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Had trouble searching the pockets. What's he got in his pockets? Is? Take care of this one. And that's for just one more. Well, let's take care of these guys. Fingers, what now? I thought I'd never escape. Well, didn't look like the best person in the world, but oh, that's that's to the key. I don't want to get to the key. I want to... Another one? Is this last? There needs to be one more somewhere. But where? Must have passed it. Yeah. Surprise there are any left of these, but what compared to what we've been doing to them? Yeah. Be any sea vipers left by the time we finish this. Must be up here. Well, better Furian than Lalia, that's for sure. Long time to teleport. The wizard seems agitated. We need to drain those storm totems. Yes, 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 yes. We're I'm working on that. Is that an orc? There we go. This is Eelsil, 
speaking directly to your mind. Find my Sigic projection near the tunnel exit. I know how to stop the Marma. Okay. That's good to hear. We need to ah, go back the other way. further. Alright, I just missed one along the way, and now I've got to go back. Let's say with all these people helping, we should be able to take care of all the sea vipers with no trouble. Actually, found a few extra peop people to help. All right, here's your projection, I guess. I know what they're planning. Through my Sigi projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistral. The Sea Vipers summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that energy into their bound Storm Slave. All right, can you explain it so that a simple hobbit could understand what you just said? The creature can only hold so much energy before it discorporates. All the energy will wash over Kanathi's roost, killing anything it touches. Except for the thunderbugs, of course. Oh, and the mountain north of Mistral will shatter, leaving no trace of the town. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, I sounds like something we need to stop. <sighs> There's the genius of their plan. How do you bind a creature made of storm energies? With the wind itself! Three ritual horns trap Storm Slave, but the Lodestone now has enough storm energy to counteract the false winds! Elegant, yes? And what happens when I release Storm Slave from his bonds? It will shed its corporeal form and safely release its stored energy. Uh, by safely, I mean in relation to Kanathi's roost. I recommend moving a fair distance away from Storm Slave when this happens. Perhaps keeping solid rock between it and yourself? <laughs> I was afraid you're gonna say that. Okay, I'll see what I can do. You'll have no trouble. But in the event you do, I've opened a portal at a distance of one league from Kanathi's roost. There I'll tread water in the open sea until I've observed your success. Merely a precaution. I have every confidence. One league. Thank you for your confidence. <laughs> One league. One league. Whoa. I wish Nestel could have seen that thing. Yeah. Oh my. This is terrible. One down. All right, that's two down. I gotta find a place to. No, oh, those guys will. Get away, get away. Oh, you must leave this place. Follow me. Yeah, follow you.
Is this far enough away? My friend, to escape death so triumphantly is constant thrill, yes? Right. Not so thrilling for the Maumar, of course. And how did you find me? The Maumar are fled or dead thanks to your efforts. Canarthi's roost is safe and voluntarily a part of the Ald Mary Dominion. So if you must know, Razumdar keeps an eye on promising people. Right. If Raz had known you would do so well, he would have scrounged you a nicer reward. Apologies. The Mistral Armory is not what it once was. So what now? The Maumur are like drunken uncle. Chase them off, and they always come back. Next time, Kenarthi will be waiting for them. Problem is, there are places that will not be so prepared. Oh, what places are they? If the Vipers are here in numbers strong enough to assault Kenarthi, all of the southern seas are in danger. The Queen is in Oridon right now, beginning a royal visit. Raz would ask you to head to Volkel Guard and report to watch Captain Astania. As you wish. Astania can pass word to Her Majesty. Perhaps you can catch a ride on the Prowler. Raz Harjimila was making plans to sail south, and he suspects she may owe you a favor. And very well. And may I ask a few questions before I go? Of course. After all you have done for us here, it would be rude of Raz to say no. So who is this watch captain? Astanya's the lovely watch captain of the Vulcal Guard watch. Raz has shared more than one drink with the captain, and more than one fight. She's getting a bit grouchy now that she's tied to one port, but she should set you a rights. And what exactly do you do? This one is a simple Khajiit, like he said when we first met. He resolves issues as they come up. He acts in the best interest of the Dominion and the Queen. And you think we'll meet again? Oh, Raz would not be surprised. You have already proven yourself a competent sort. Simple Khajiit like this one have a tendency to meet competent people like you. And what can I expect in Iridon? Very tall elves and very pretty shores. Oridon is the most worldly part of the Somerset Isles, and still many of the High Elves consider it a sanctuary away from the rest of the world. This one thinks they are kidding themselves. Uh, thank you. So next time we will head off to the Somerset Isles in the next episode of Pineleaf Plays. No, Pineleaf Inn, Tamriel.